Good morning, class in 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. So if yesterday was Thursday, then today is what? If yesterday was Thursday, then today is Friday. It's Friday. So if yesterday was Thursday and today is Friday, then tomorrow will be what? If yesterday was Thursday and today is Friday, then tomorrow will be Saturday. Tomorrow is Saturday. So today is Friday. The month is June. What number? That's the number. There, well, when the numbers one and seven are together in this order, that makes the number 17 or 17th. So today is Friday, June 17th, and the year is 2022. What season are we in? For a few more days, it's still spring. The season is spring. So then what is the weather like outside today? You can look outside your windows. Miss Jessica's gonna look outside her windows. Remember, you want to stand up to look outside your windows. Miss Jessica can just kind of look both ways. I look outside my windows here at school. I see that it's sunny outside today. Yep, yeah, it's a sunny day. Let's go for our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we need to respect all people. And that includes yourself because you're a person. You respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. You need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect is by keeping hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You be safe with your body and with the objects around you. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry, you take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using safe hands and safe feet. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know this one can be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers in person regularly and you haven't for a really long time. There's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members, they ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. You need to make good choices. And that means being appropriate with your language and your tone of voice. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry. You're going to take a deep breath and try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and appropriate tone of voice. So people aren't going to want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And lastly, always do your best. Yes, always do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have each day and your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation. And that's okay. Your best might look different from someone else's best. And that's okay too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. All right. Then lastly, how are you feeling today? Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? Are you embarrassed? Are you hungry? Are you anxious? Are you cold? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you silly? Are you jealous? Are you tired? Are you disgusted? Are you thirsty? Are you excited? Are you sick? You can point or you can tell somebody. There's a way you're feeling that's not listed. You can tell somebody that as well. And you can always be more than one thing. Awesome job. How is Miss Jessica feeling today? I'm a little tired today. It's true. It has been a long and busy week, so I need to make sure I get some rest this weekend. I'm a little sad today. It's true, as I have been every day for the last over two years because I miss you. Of course, I'm happy because most of your friends are back in school. I'm still a little sad each day because I miss you, and I want you back here with us. Even though I'm tired, I'm sad because I miss you. I think about all of you, home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of. The fact that hopefully someday soon we'll all be back together in class, have so much fun, work so hard, and all this time apart will just be memory. I think about all that. That makes me really, really happy. It's true. Thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy. That is what I focus on because you are my happy place. That, though, meeting is all done. I am going to do a reading video. I believe we are going to read a little bit more of Chapter 22 today. And we are going to do our 10 o'clock Zoom meeting where we do an art project. All right. I hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful Friday. A great weekend. And I'll see you in my videos on Monday. Bye, friends.